Did, did you get the joke? Because it's the, the Kaisberg files. I thought that was funny. Okay, we are going to have a special guest come today. His name is Gorblat. Gorblat, say hello to the visitors. Welcome. Awesome. We are going to test randomness. This is a really big deal because how often have you been playing a game that was supposedly random and you're like, no, something's wrong. Settlers of Catan, right? You build on the nine and suddenly it never rolls nine again. Well, we're going to test our calculator. We had it randomly get a digit, one through, well, nine with zero. And notice we didn't always get the same amount of each type. It looks like, well, nine came out 39 times, which is kind of low. Whereas zero was 66 times, it's kind of high. Do we believe this is random or not? Well, we did 500 trials. So, Blurplat, will you go ahead and write the 500 at the end as our total? And we want to test whether these are close enough to be even. No, 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 Blurplat, not in your language. I meant in English. So, we want to test could these be close enough to random, even though some numbers were picked more than others? We did not tell you what the expected values are. You have to figure that out based off the question. If we did this 500 times, and if it really was random, what would we have expected? In this case, we would have expected the same number all the way across. We need to work on your English word black, but you are doing a great job. Thank you very much. Now, what I want you to do is to continue this table and write in the expected value. Out of 500 trials, how many ones did we expect to get? Well, the answer is a tenth, so there should be 50 in each of these. Lord Black, go ahead and fill those out. While he's doing that, let me make a note. How did I know what number needed to go in each of these? Basically 50, because there was 500 total, and there's 10 categories. So if it's evenly spread out, we should have 50 in each category. So here are the expected values, 50. And this is going to work the exact same way as it always has for all of these other questions that we've been doing for the last few homeworks. How do we get our chi-squared value? I'm going to take the observed minus the expected squared divided by the expected. This equation right here, which you should be used to. And what do we see? Well, for example, here, how many times did we roll the value of 6? We expected 50. We got 50. That leaves us a chi-squared of 0. On the other hand, here with zero, we had 66 times when we expected only 50. That's a pretty big value right here. Now, I thought nine was going to have a big value because 39 seems like it wasn't enough, but it's only half as weird as zero is. So there's where I'm starting to worry, is this going to turn out to be wrong or not? Well, to find out, we are going to add up all our chi-squared values which I have that right here, 14.2. Now, is that a lot? Well, let's go to the applet. So I'm going to switch to the chi-squared applet. What's our degrees of freedom? Well, we had 10 categories, and if you knew that added up to 500, then there would be nine categories that we wouldn't be sure about, but that, what are you talking there would be nine categories we wouldn't know about, and then the tenth one would not be it. So degrees of freedom would be nine, because that tenth category you could guess just from the total. And I need my chi-squared value, which was 14.2. And I need to flip to the small tail. There is our p-value, 0.11539. So let's write out the full hypothesis test. Our null, the calculator is... Well, let's see. The null says the observed equals the expected. If that was true, if it really did equal this 50, 50, 50, 50, that would mean that the null was that the calculator is random, that all these expected values are even or uniform. In other words, the calculator is doing what we expect it to. There is an equal sign hidden in there, and it's important that you be able to see that. The alternative then would be that it's not random, that some value is more than the other, that they're not equal. Alpha 0.05, we got our chi-squared with 9 degrees of freedom because it's the number of categories minus 1. And our p-value 0.11539, p-value larger than alpha. Thus, we fail to reject the null. And that leads us to conclude that we cannot show that the calculator isn't random. So good, we don't have evidence to say something is wrong with the calculator. We feel all happy and nice and safe again. Quirks black.